This is Johnny Nelson, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Now, something that I haven't really heard people talking about is the possibility of the British Boxing Board of Control suspending and fining John Fury for what he'd done in Saudi Arabia, where he looked for the smallest member of Usyk's team and headbutted him. Now, it's one thing for him to have all these interviews where he rants and raves, he's talking about how he's a big bad fighting man, he'll fight any man and this, that and the other. It's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing to actually get physical with someone. Now, you may say, well, what happened in Saudi Arabia? It's got nothing to do with the British Boxing Board of Control. Well, you have to remember, they controlled the whole event. Okay, they were the commission for it. And John Fury is a license holder, a British Boxing Board of Control license holder. He's a trainer of his youngest son, Tommy. And of course, he was in the corner with Tyson. And yes, of course, I have seen that he was over-talking Tyson's proper trainer, in Sugar Hill Stewart, where, where John was pretty much telling Tyson to do the complete opposite of everything that Sugar Hill was doing. Terrible, terrible form. Okay, and I know Tyson was saying about the conflict in Usyk's home country as potentially why he lost on points because they had sympathy for him. Listen, firstly, Alexander Usyk won that fight fair and square. Okay, there was no kind of screw job or anything, but if there was going to be any kind of outside influence on the judges, it wasn't going to be what's happening in Usi's country. Had it been a year and a half ago or so, yeah, maybe, but not, not necessarily nowadays. But if there was going to be an outside influence, it was probably the actions of John. But if, it's, if there was going to be a screw job on there, it looked like one of the judges was trying to screw Usyk. Anyway, that said, but it's not just a case of what John Fury done in Saudi Arabia. There's a whole catalogue of things that John Fury's done, where he's punching the perspex in front of KSI, um, he's flipping tables at press conferences and all these other kind of things. He's telling people to suck his this, that and the other. And he's threatening to fight any man and whatever else. Okay, um, Going at Jake Paul on TV and all these kind of things. It's just ridiculous. And of course, uh, you know, he was uh, kicking off in the ring at Jake Paul and that as well, wasn't he? So there's a whole catalogue of things. Now, you could say, but it happened in Saudi Arabia and... He's apologised now and it's all... But people in boxing have lost their licences for far less. People have lost their licences for things that they've said on social media. Just having an opinion on something. They get suspended for having fights and altercations in pubs or... However. So this is far more serious than what a lot of other people have gone through and been suspended and even lost their licences, in some cases permanently, pretty much. So it's going to be interesting to see what the British Boxing Board of Control do. And I think he needs it. He needs to be suspended. Certainly fined. Now, whether or not that, that lad from Usyk's team decided to press charges or not, I want to presume not so, which is why John Fury wasn't arrested or anything like that. But obviously, he's not going to be. He's the father of Tyson Fury and the Saudis who run Saudi Arabia. As in the people, as in Turkey al Of course, he's working with Prince bin Salman and whatever else. Bin Salman, listen, he's a prince of Saudi Arabia, the son of the king. But he's also the prime minister of Saudi Arabia as well. OK, so there's going to be influence. But the British Box Border Control, will they do something? Listen, probably not. Probably not. Because he, they're going to have arguments and back and forth with Frank Warren, aren't they? Frank Warren has a lot of sway with them, a lot of pull, a lot of influence even, I suppose. And, that, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. The British Box Border Control need controlling at times. They do. But it's going to be very interesting to see what they do with John Fury. And I'm surprised they haven't done something already. But hey, listen, I'll say surprised. This is the British Boxing Board of Control. You know, they take their time on doing anything. They really do. But that's what should happen. John Fury should be suspended because he needs to be reined in. It's one thing being told you can't do this and you can't do that. Because he's been told many, many times you need to calm yourself down. Now actions need to happen. 
and the British Boxing Board of Control need to take action. Will they? Probably not, but we'll have to wait and see what happens, won't we? Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you next video.